What's up guys, Badger back with another GTA 5 tutorial outfit video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Watch Dogs outfit. Yes, the Watch Dogs outfit. This is well overdue and this probably is one of the best Watch Dogs outfits I have ever seen on GTA. And I made it guys. So let's get to it. The very first thing you need to do, you need to become a VIP guys. Also, I want to give a shout out to Freight Train because I saw this on his channel. I saw this video on his channel and I, the, he is not the founder by the way. I will be putting the founder later on in the description. I think the founder name is Rushkin something like that but I'll put that there for you guys so to get started with this you need to become a VIP from being a VIP you need to put on the outfit of your choice and then from there you need to start up a deathmatch you can do this solo I did a solo but if you can get three of your friends to help you you can get this glitch done a lot quicker than I did so um yeah become a VIP put on that outfit you can do an on call or you can start up a deathmatch with some friends do that and once you get inside the deathmatch guys I'll show you exactly what to do. I'm finna load up into a popcorn right now, so let's get to it. I'll tell you what to do. Alright guys, so once you load up in a deathmatch, what you need to do is you just okay, everybody's over there doing their own thing right now. I'm not gonna pay attention to that. So what you need to do is just go to your interaction menu, put on your mask, put on the mask, any mask of your choice. You just need to make it stick right now. So put on a mask, um, a watch. Okay, let's put on any watch. Um, put on a scarf you know you just need to make it safe so the reason you're doing this is because after you get done with this job you need to go to your interaction menu and then go to the VP services and then put the outfit back to none which will happen was your outfit will basically spawn and beat this guy up really quick all right yeah your outfit will spawn <laughs> underneath you uh oh wait a minute <laughs> all right what uh oh <laughs> all right i'm trying to talk and do everything at once all right <laughs> okay i kind of got distracted i started fighting in the parkour because you know it is a parkour and i was in a parkour randoms so you know i had to defend myself and i you know how it goes you guys understand but okay let's get to it so what you need to do, once you get inside the deathmatch, which is why it's, it's best to do it with friends so none of this stupid stuff won't happen, but unfortunately I didn't really have people online that I can perform this glitch with, that I normally do my glitches with. So what you need to do is basically open up your interaction menu, put on glasses, a mask, a scarf, change your gloves, do whatever you need to do to make this outfit safe because basically you're tricking the game to make this game, the game think that this is your last outfit you was wearing when technically it really was your last outfit you was wearing, but you're basically tricking the game to register this VIP outfit as your last outfit. And once you do that, the outfit will stick. And I'll show you guys later in the video once the popcorn is complete. I'll tell you what to do. So basically I speeded up the video because I know you guys don't want to probably sit there and watch all that popcorn. Freaking popcorn is on 19 minutes. So I basically had to edit it <laughs> and speed it up so you guys can actually get to and continue performing your glitch. Because I know a lot of you guys will appreciate this watchdog outfit. So let's get right into it. Let's get this done. Let's get out of here. Let's get to the next steps. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm loading down from the sky right now. And it took me a little long to go to the VP services because, you know, you know, if you're a GTA player, you always got to set your guns. It's a habit. <laughs> you never know who might come around the corner. So I want to have everything set before I do anything. All right. <laughs> so from there, now I loaded up into an online session after the deathmatch, guys. I loaded up. Now I went, immediately went to my interaction menu, went to my VP services, management, and style. And then I switched my outfit back to none. As you can see, when I switched my outfit back to none, my outfit is going to be the exact outfit that I was wearing inside the deathmatch. Everything that I put on in that deathmatch is still there. Basically, it saved it and made it register as the last outfit I was wearing. So, after that, what you want to do is immediately drive to the nearest clothing store. Okay, once you get to the clothing store, all you need to do is just run inside, go to the counter, and you just need to save that outfit. Just go to your press square to save, get inside, save the outfit, change the name if you want. Personally, I changed mine to Watch Dogs, I believe, a little later. But I just saved it. Because this is my Watch Dogs outfit that I'm going to be making to show you guys how to actually make this outfit. So if you actually paid attention to everything within the video, then you will see how you need this outfit to be able to make the Watch Dogs outfit. So 
I'm just going through some stuff right now. Let's get this done. Showing you guys that it's still there. So I'm going to also go to the clothing section, to the shorts, to the uh, pants section. And I'm going to put on the Team Heist pants, guys. You want to put on the black Team Heist pants. Because yeah, it just didn't look right with the, the slacks, like the dressy pants on. So put on the Team Heist pants to make this outfit complete. So let's get this started. Let's go back over here to the, get this started and make this watchdog outfit. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the watchdog's outfit, guys. Hopefully you guys will actually pay, to pay attention to the video because you had to get this VIP outfit first to be able to make this outfit because as you can see, this jacket that I'm wearing and shirt, um, turtleneck that I'm wearing, you can't buy this in the store. You cannot buy it. So follow the steps in the beginning of the video and you'll be able to get this outfit. Also, once I was able to save the outfit, I put Team Heist pants on because it looks way better than the actual dressy pants that it had on so now I'm gonna do the helmet mask glitch to show you guys how to make this outfit complete so and also guys you gotta use your imagination you gotta understand that this is also GTA not watchdog so pretty much this is probably one of the best watchdogs outfits I have ever seen on GTA you know I done it I designed it myself I thought about it and boom here we go so very first thing you need to do, you need to make sure you saved the skull bandana mask to this outfit. Now, once that is saved, you need to make sure. The second thing you need to do, make sure you have a motorcycle. So, get your motorcycle, and then you want to come outside to it. Now, you want to just basically take off the skull bandana, and also make sure you have the helmet set that you want to put on. I'm gonna put the black one on because I think it looks it looks way better with it. So. <laughs> right, character winning cover alright so that's set now I'm gonna take that off take that off and like I said you need to make sure your character have that outfit set so basically come to your outfits and just set it and then back out of that and just hover over accessories press triangle to get on the bike now let your character put his helmet on then you see your character put his helmet on then you want to quickly get off press click on that outfit and then run inside and come to the counter right on the d-pad as you see your character will be holding the helmet in his hand if you did it correctly your character will be holding the helmet in his hand because once you get to the counter you need to browse press right on the d-pad to browse soon you see your character touch his head press right on the d-pad to browse because your character is trying to take off that helmet now you just back out and your character will be wearing the helmet on his head and that's pretty much how you do the helmet mask glitch with the skull bandana. And then you just want to come to the counter and you just want to save it. So I'm going to save it here. I'm going to call it Watch Dogs. I think it's a pretty cool outfit. So pretty sick outfit. All right. We got that. And that outfit is now saved, guys. Now I have me a cool rare unattainable outfit that you only can get by doing this trick so I'm going I'm going to change it and I'm going to go back to it and I still have it guys see I still have it I'm going to go through my outfits I'm going to basically go through my outfits to show you guys that I still have it yep see I still have it now all right, guys, follow every step that I did in this video, and you'll be able to get this cool watchdog outfit. Definitely do it while you can, because you know Rockstar loves to patch the cool glitches. So this is Badger signing out. See you guys in the next one.